have a lot of news this morning as well. President Trump is just furious this morning. Tweeted a couple minutes ago, calling the Russia investigation corrupt and never ending. Of course, this comes as he is considering it appears. The, the fateful move of firing Robert Mueller. That is something that we are going to discuss all morning long, but we also have those new details on those raids at the office of the home of President Trump's personal attorney, Michael Cohen, which has the White House also up in arms. We're learning the FBI was looking for records on that payment to Stormy Daniels. ABC News spoke with Cohen, who described what happened when agents showed up at his front door. And for that, we welcome a new addition to ABC News. Happy to have Kira Phillips here with us. She has those details. Welcome, Kira. Great to be here. Thanks, Robin. Well, everyone has been wondering exactly what went down that day when the FBI raided his home, his office, and the hotel room. We're talking about Michael Cohen, President Trump's personal attorney for years. So I called him up, and that day, he gave me the details. Overnight, Michael Cohen spotted leaving dinner in New York City, speaking out for the first time about that raid on his home, office, and hotel less than two days ago. Cohen telling ABC News the FBI agents didn't storm into his hotel room. They simply knocked. He described the operation as respectful and courteous. Cohen says it was clear the raid wasn't a personal vendetta, but admits it was very difficult for his family. The agents seized electronic devices, phones, and financial documents dating back to 2013. A source who saw the search warrant telling ABC News Cohen is being investigated for possible bank and wire fraud after that $130,000 payment to porn star Stormy Daniels, paying her for her silence just 11 days before the election. They want to know where that money came from and precisely how it got to her. Daniels claims she had an affair with the president in 2006. It was yeah. entirely consensual. Oh, yes. Yes. Something the White House has denied. Six days ago, the president broke his silence on Daniels, saying he didn't know anything about Michael Cohen's payment to her. The White House, when pressed on Tuesday, Good afternoon. would not say if Cohen still works for the president. Uh, does Michael Cohen still represent the president? Uh, I'm not sure I would refer you to Michael Cohen on that. Cohen has served as personal lawyer to Trump for more than a decade, often publicly defending the president. But you bring a fight to Donald Trump, he's going to take that fight. I've never come across a situation where Mr. Trump has said something that's, that's not accurate. And I'll do anything to protect Mr. Trump. And Cohen reiterated to me that there were no FBI SWAT teams, no weapons drawn during these uh, raids. In fact, after the search, he actually thanked them for their professionalism. <laughs> you know, have known him for quite some time, and I know that you've been communicating with him this morning as well. Do you have a sense of, of, of how he's feeling and how, if he's nervous at all? You know, that, that's a great question because right now I'm texting to him, texting with him, and he's saying, I can't talk right now. That is not normal for Michael Cohen. Mm. In the past, I'd call him up. He's very confident. He's talkative. He's humorous. He has no problem talking about the man he represents. This rattled him and How his family. How could by yeah. in three different places oh, yeah. at that's, 9 in the morning? That's true. Wonderful to have you with the ABC News family. I'll tell Kira. you, the energy here is pretty fantastic. <laughs> and I said, it's just Wednesday. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait for Friday. Can I hang out? <laughs> Welcome, Kira. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.